Yeah, so hello, everybody. Welcome to SciCon 2022, uh, the Research Hub community's inaugural conference and social gathering. My name is Patrick. I'm one of Research Hub's co-founders and a former PhD and med student who saw the ridiculous inefficiencies of scientific funding and publishing firsthand. The current marketplace for academic funding is hyper-competitive. Only 1%-ish of first-year PhD students end up becoming research professors. This destructive form of competition forces scientists to do whatever they can to maximize their likelihood of receiving funding. This includes working in closed silos instead of building in the open, publishing in high-impact paywall journals instead of practicing open science, and tailoring research outputs to maximize their citations instead of maximizing reproducibility and real-world scientific impact. Research Hub's mission is to accelerate the pace of scientific research. We think that the modern infrastructure for funding and publishing academic science is a broken, antiquated system that fails to take advantage of the utility provided by the internet. Research Hub's product is an experiment in incentives for academic research. The main question we want to explore is, can token rewards be used to accelerate the adoption of healthy research behaviors like building in the open, practicing open science, and tailoring research outputs for reproducibility and real-world impact. Which brings us to SciCon. We've been really lucky to establish a passionate group of early career researchers who are also fed up with the current system and dedicated to bringing a brighter future about for academic science. One of these amazing researchers is my friend Ricardo, a bioengineering PhD student and Web3 DSci enthusiast from the Polytechnic University of Milan in Italy. Ricardo, thanks for putting this event together. This is really amazing. Excited to learn more about what you have planned for SciCon. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you, Patrick. That was an amazing intro. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for you know presenting our mission as Research Hub. I think really the motivation behind SciCon was to gather uh, more people together, uh, talking about these problems together, and trying to do you know something to actually highlight these problems and put them out in the open. Uh, so the reason uh, behind SciCon, the motivation behind SciCon was to basically uh, make use of the infrastructure uh, that Research Hub built on the platform to be able to see what we can do with our tools and what we can do to, uh, you know, solve these problems. So um, I'll start by simply, you know, sharing my screen and showing you the website and kind of like walking you through uh, the, basically the main, the main points of this, of this event. Uh, so, as I said, Tycoon was born at the, at the intersection uh, between meta science and decentralized science. So, if meta science is the, the science of uh, studying the methodology of you know carrying out research, decentralized science is a new movement that you know aims to to tackle this uh, these problems with uh, some innovative tools like uh, blockchain and like uh, Web three uh, technology. So, we decided to put together this event, and as I said, we wanted to make use of the instruments that research have provided. So we decided to uh, divide it basically into two competitions. So what you will see uh, is uh, two, the two competitions are an electronic notebook submission competition and a present your research competition. So I'll go over the details of these uh, two competitions uh, uh, right now. So the electronic lab notebook submission, uh, it's a competition that is centered around our uh, ELN feature that we've built in Research Hub. Uh, the ELN, you can see it as a notebook, so you can take notes, you can share these notes with your, with your co-workers, and then you can publish these notes. So we thought, okay, why don't we use this feature to publish an article, to publish an article that talks about these problems that we just mentioned. And this is why we decided to uh, introduce this competition uh, that is centered around the topic of meta science and decentralized science. But how does it work, you know, practically, how does it work? Uh, you'll have to go on, um, the research up website and i'll show you uh later how to do it open the the notebook and start creating your content your content could have a you know the shape of a blog article of a you know academic paper and so on we allow uh, to make use of references uh images videos and so on so really the format is a free format so you can uh, make it long as you want short as you want but it is it's basically an article that is being published by uh, through our platform and as I said before, um, the notebook is also intended to be used with your coworkers, uh, with your friends, with your colleagues. So you can participate for this competition, this competition either as an individual or as a team. 
So for example, let's say you register for the competition, but you have another friends that want to, to join you in writing this article. You can invite him uh, through the ELN notebook uh, uh, feature for, for invitation, and you can work on the piece together and publish it together. Um, how much time you'll have? You'll have a full week, you know, starting today. Uh, today we kick off the competition, and then you'll have a full week to um, to basically work on the content. So um, the first evaluation will be carried out um, basically continuously, starting today until um, until Saturday, twenty third. And basically, our reviewers, our uh, editors and research hub, uh, will publish a peer review using our peer review system, and I will sign a score to each of the submissions. A minimum of five reviews will be required and will be uh, will be done for each submission. And after that, a score, an average score, will be uh, will be evaluated. And then we'll have uh, basically a list of all of the submissions with our score, and we'll select the top twenty percent that will that it will you know go to the second stage, the second and the last stage. The second stage of the evaluation will be carried out by a, uh, a jury of academics that will select the top three uh, submission. So as I said, you have the possibility through our ELN to publish a piece of content. But you're not only publishing this on Research Hub, you also have the possibility to publish it, let's say, to the world, because we can assign a DOI on Research Hub. So you'll be basically able to work on your content for SciCon 2022, publish your content, assign a DOI, and maybe for the next event or either, either I don't know, like a, another piece of content that you want to publish, you'll be able to cross-reference your previous publication that you did on Research Hub uh, during SciCon. And, you know, given that it's a, it's a competition, we also decided that we wanted to include some prizes uh, for all of you participating. So we have uh, uh, three uh, prizes, uh, one for the first, the second, and the third place. And there will be a mix of uh, USD, a part of USD, a part of uh, research coin that is our uh, token that's been uh, used by the on the platform and uh, commemorative nfts for the top, for the top submissions if you want to learn more about rsc you can just go on the website um, and click on rsc we have a link where we explain more about the token this is the first competition uh, if you have any question just please drop it in the q a so we'll take a look and read the questions after after i finish um, okay, so this is the first um, you know, competition, and uh, there's a button here that shows the rules uh, in details. So all of the rules will be here if you want to take uh, a look at a detailed uh, overview of the rules. Then we'll have the second competition that is a different one. It's a market a little different because we wanted to do something that allowed people that are not um, you know, familiar with meta science and didn't want to publish a written content to also be able to contribute to this event. So what we decided to do is uh, present your research competition. And that is basically a three minute video that you, that you have to record and that you can upload again using our electronic lab notebook on the platform. So for this, you just have to you know, uh, register for the competition and then record yourself for three minutes um, explaining what you do in your research. You're a PhD student or maybe you're a researcher working in a research center or again, you're working in industry, but you do a research related job. Please tell us what you do. We're really excited about knowing more about you and let us know in three minutes and please be uh, simple. Like uh, what I'll say is like explain it like I'm five. So try and explain it in the most simple terms so that a non-technical audience can understand what you do. Um, and again, what uh, will happen is we'll have uh, prizes for a top three uh, submissions, but in this case, the evaluation process will be different. So we will not will not have someone reviewing peer reviewing your video because it would not really make sense. What we'll have instead, we'll have the community voting openly voting using the upvote feature that we have on Research Hub, and um, and the top submissions earning more upvotes will basically make up uh, the podium. Something that I uh, forgot to mention is that for both these competitions, the ELN competition and the present your research competition, you will be able to uh, earn research coin anyway when someone upvote your content. So this is also a way to get started with the platform and see how it works, our reward mechanism works on the platform. So you'll be able to earn votes for both of your submissions. Uh, people will be able to uh, put comments under your either under your video maybe because they're interested in what you do, want to learn more, or under your uh, piece of content, your ELN submission, uh, maybe they have some questions, some technical questions about what you put in the submission. 
And this is basically the, the guest of it for what uh, concerns the two competitions. There's a short video here, there's a long video where I go through the basics of Research Hub, how it works, the platform, and um, I explain how you can make the most out of the, the ELN uh, feature that we have on the website. So if you want to learn more, just click on the video here and you'll have a more uh, detailed explanation. And this, so the explanation of the two competition brings me to the second, let's say, component of SICOM 2022. Uh, SICOM 2022 wanted to be both a sort of like a hackathon where you provide some content, where you have like a, uh, a competition with other people, but also a conference. And this is why we brought together an amazing uh, panel of speakers. So if you click on schedule on the website, you will see all of the speakers that we have invited to, to this event. So first of all, let me just like take a minute to uh, thank all of the speakers that um, wanted to come on the platform. It's really amazing, you know, seeing their uh, desire to, to be here. So again, a big thank you to, to our amazing speakers. Uh, please take some time to go over the schedule and see uh, all of the titles of the, of the different talks. And this talks will be uh, mainly next weekend. So it'll be on the 23rd and, uh, and the 24th of July, Saturday and Sunday. Before that, we'll have a fireside chat on Wednesday, July 20th uh, with Patrick and Brian, our co-founders. Uh, I will be moderating, so uh, please be there. It will be, will be really interesting because we'll go into uh, a little bit more into, you know, um, research job and decentralized science and so on. It's going to be really interesting. So. Um, if you're interested, uh, make sure you don't uh, miss this one. Um, so if, if you, if you're, you know, uh, after today, you might have some questions about the competition or about the speakers, about anything. If you have a question and that, that, that question does not get resolved today, uh, you can, you know, either drop us a message. There's a let chat uh, button here. You can send us an email. We're pretty responsive. But if you want to have a, let's say a live interaction with us, Please come to our uh, weekly community call. It's going to be on Monday, uh, 5 p.m. EST. We're going to dedicate half an hour to a Q&A session dedicated just for the company, just to the competition. We're going to have also our, you know, technical developers that are going to, you know, explain a little bit more how to use the, the ELN if you have any technical questions. But again, if you have any question, uh, make sure you, you come on our community call on Monday and we'll get your questions answered. Uh, so I think this is it. Uh, this is a pretty much, you know, the explanation about the event, something that I wanted to touch upon a little bit is the, uh, you know, the, the topic of the, the ELN submission. So I, I got some questions actually, you know, uh, once we once we put out the once we put out the, the the announcement of the event about the ELN competition. What should be the topic? Uh, what should we really write about? Uh, so what in order to facilitate uh, your let's say facilitate discussion and to facilitate, let's say, some topics. We decided to, to put some topics on the on the website. So if you don't have any idea on what you could contribute to in terms of the ELN submission, uh, make sure you check out the About page where we have some topics, uh, like, for example, citizen science or the reproducibility crisis that's academia, that academia is facing. Or again, uh, something that I'm really interested about is a reputation in science. How can we create something that is you know better than citations and impact factor? So see, these are some just some suggestions. These are not tracks that you must, you know, stay in. But if you don't have an idea, we're providing some uh, ideas uh, to you on here. And yeah, something that I'm really proud uh, to say is that Saigon was entirely a community uh, community effort. It was a lot of people, you know, uh, beyond me actually uh, making this happen. Uh, a lot of people, you know, with technical skills, with communication skills that put this together. So a big thank you also goes to you know those people that you know, again, we're, we're able to, to, to pull this together uh, for a time that we dedicated to SciCon. Um, okay, so this is pretty much an overview of SciCon. Now I want to get a little bit more on the uh, technical side and show you how the research job platform works. But um, I can see the, I can really see the chat. So Patrick, can you tell me if there's any question? If there's not, I will move to the to research job. Yeah, if anybody has a question, feel free to raise your hand. But yeah, right now I don't see any, Ricardo. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so um, let me give you a little introduction to to Research Hub. So this is what you will see um, when you when you register on Research Hub. Actually, you will not see this. You will see here a big button saying "Sign in with Google." 
it's really easy to send in on GitHub. You just have to, you know, click once on here. You have to select your uh, Gmail account, and then you'll basically be registered. But then, what do you what do you do after that? So uh, the idea here is you uh, click on your on your icon, and you go to profile. On the profile page, we're showing uh, many information about you. We're showing your uh, reputation. That is 100 for all of the new, of the new member. Uh, you're showing here the balance of RSC that you, that you have earned. And here, there's a section where we show an overview of all of the activity regarding your profile, the comments that you've made, uh, the submissions. So if you submit something through the notebook and you publish in a research app, it's going to show up here. And if you have a paper that you authored, Okay, so academic, uh, academic paper that you authored. You can upload a paper on Research Hub using the upload feature. I'll show you how to do it. And then you can claim the authorship of that paper. And all of the papers that you authored are gonna be here in this, in this section. Uh, something else here, you can connect some of your social media, you can uh, connect Orcad as well. So these are pretty handy if you wanna have your, all of your profiles connected to, uh, to Research Hub. So something that I'll show you now is how you can update your profile. So in here, clicking on this, this icon here, you can click and you'll be able to change your first name, last name, and you can add a quick you know, headline, uh, like a one sentence about you. You can add your education. So the schools you attended, you know, university, what you major, what you majored in, uh, what's your degree, when did you graduate and so on. And you can set many education levels and you can set your main as the one, for example, the, the current one or the most recent one that you got. And again, there's an about section where you can put a little bit more of information about you. So this is basically it about the, the profile. The next thing that you want to check out is most probably the hub section. So Research Hub, as you can probably imagine from the, from the name, uh, works with hubs. We don't have journals, we have hubs where we basically gather all the academic articles and information uh, regarding a specific topic. So if you go on hubs here, you will see that you have many hubs um, regarding several different topics. Okay, so let's say for example that you're interested in telecommunications. By clicking on join, you'll be able to, to join the hub and be able to basically follow all of the content that is published, that is, up later, that is uploaded on the, on the hub. Uh, same applies, you know, you can uh, basically join as many hubs as you want. And when you do that, what will change is that on the, on the homepage, You'll see here on the left, there's this My Hubs icon. By clicking on here, you'll be able to see all of the hubs that you joined. You'll be able to quickly access all of your hubs. So let's go back to the hubs. But there's something important I've got to tell you here. When I said that you have to upload your uh, submission for the ELN competition or for, your, for the present your research competition, you'll have to publish it on Research Hub. In order to do so, you'll have to select a hub. So what we did for this competition was creating two dedicated hubs that you have to pick when, once you publish your content. And the hubs, I'll show you the hubs are uh, these two. So there's a Cycon 2022 ELN competition. You want to publish in this hub. So first of all, you want to join the hub and then publish in this hub uh, your content. And then there's the present your research uh, competition hub. And again, join the hub and then publish the content on the hub. But we didn't really get into um, how to publish uh, through research hubs. So let me do that now. Again, you click on the icon here and you'll see another voice that says notebook. The notebook is the ELN I was referring to. You open the notebook and what you'll see is basically a, uh, now this is gonna be like an initial page showing you some of the features exactly. So it says, welcome to your new lab notebook. You can start tapping right away, right away. And um, you'll be able to do many things in the same way as you do on a Word document. So by clicking on this icon, you'll be able to choose a formatting, uh, uh, formatting style. So you can use paragraphs and we have different levels of headings. If you want to have, if you want to have like, I don't know, like title, subtitle and uh, paragraph uh, title, for example. And you can also um, insert tables. So for example, let's say you want to compare uh, several papers and you need a table. Uh, you can insert a table here. You can choose the dimension of the table and put it in here. In the same way, um, you can also include some code. Uh, I don't know if you're really going to need it, but in case you, you, you need uh, to insert code, by clicking on this icon, you'll be able to insert a code block. 
Then again, we have some more formatting options like including uh, lists, uh, bulleted or number lists, and uh, adjusting the indentation. But most important uh, buttons are probably the ones here because you're going to need them for both the ELN submission and the present your research competition. Uh, the first one is to link uh, something. So we don't have already a referencing, uh, referencing uh, system, but what we can do instead is, for example, let's say you want to reference something, you do the normal you know, brackets to one, two, like in this case here, and then you can highlight one and you can link to your specific reference. So in that way, it will basically work in the same way as a reference if you want to reference something in your, in your submission. If you want to add an image, we can also do that. Again, uh, you click on here and you'll be able to insert an image. In the same way, uh, we'll, you'll also be able to upload a video. This is important uh, for the present your research competition because what you'll do in the present your research competition is uh, the following. By clicking on plus, you'll be able to open a blank page. Okay, you'll see here uh, on title. So let me see when this opens. So you, for example, can put in uh, present your research competition, and then you can put uh, first, last name this way. And then here you click and you upload the video. Uh, the video will be uploaded here. And then the next thing you have to do is click on publish. By clicking on publish, you'll see that the author shows up. So if you're the only one, I mean, obviously in the video, you're gonna be the only one, but let's say in the ELN competition, it's gonna be more than one person. You'll be able to have more than one author uh, by adding uh, some more people working on your content. And then you have to select the hub. So you click on this uh, tab here, and this will open, this window will open. Uh, you'll go down and you will see the hubs that I mentioned before. So for the ELN competition, you want to select this hub here. For the present your research competition, you want to select this up here. So we're doing the present your research competition now. I'll click this one and I'll be able to click on have a dear to the research hub posting deadlines. And you can add, as I said before, a DOI to each of the posts uh, just by paying five RC. So by clicking on this one, you'll also be able to assign a DOI. And by clicking on publish, you will then see your content uh, published on the hub. So you will go here again. Uh, if you want to see that your content has correctly updated, you will go on the respective hub and you'll see if your uh, submission is there. Something that I probably haven't touched upon on the, on the notebook feature is the possibility to work on a piece of content uh, with your friends and with your colleagues. So I said at the beginning that you had the possibility to do so, but I really didn't show you how to do that technically. So by clicking the share button, you'll be able to share this document in the same way as you do with a, with a Google Doc, for example. So you put in the email, you can put in the email here. You can choose uh, what kind of like privilege to do to give to the, to the other user, and you can invite as many as you want to work on your content. And if you have one, more than one person, when you publish here, they're gonna automatically show up here in the authors. Um, you can make this private as, uh, you know, when, whenever you want, and you can, you know, delete all your content once you're, uh, once you're done with, uh, you know, the notebook part and you have already published. And I think I really went over the, you know, the most important uh, elements of the Research Hub website. This is our homepage. Uh, what you see here are the most trending, you know, the most trending papers. You can also uh, sort the, the, the papers by uh, the date. So you, you, by clicking on here, you will see uh, the newest papers. And we have some more uh, filters that you can select here. Then you have some other windows. Let me just like briefly go through them. We have the trending users here on the left. So you just have, you know, had the most activity recently and the latest activity. So if you want to you know, be up to date with what's happening on the, on the platform, this is probably the column that you uh, want to check. And yeah, I think this is, uh, we have uh, also a tab here for the trending hubs. Uh, so you'll see basically the hubs that have seen the most activity, again, similar to what happens with the users. Um, yeah, Patrick, uh, anything that you would like to add on top of this? Because I think I pretty much showed everything on here. Maybe, yes, maybe something that I should probably go on is uh, go over is the upload feature. So this is the way to go in onto the notebook is the way um, for publishing original content uh, that you're publishing to the platform. But if you want to upload some content that is already published, you know, through a journal and it's on, it's on a website, what you'll have to do is click on new. You can go on here 
and you can upload a paper. So by uploading a paper, you're basically taking a paper that is or that has already been published, and you're uploading that on Research Hub. Uh, for open access paper, we also allow to uh, upload a PDF. Uh, obviously, we don't allow uploading PDFs for uh, copyrighted articles. So please uh, make sure you don't upload any copyright uh, content. This also applies to the notebook feature because um, that's why basically we wanted to introduce a way to reference other articles because we want to make sure that any image that you put in your submission is an original image. If it's not, please, please reference, uh, the, put the reference there in the same way as you would do with an academic article. And yes, I see a question actually here. Uh, same process to submit the ELN submission as a research competition, just to choose the ELN out. Yes, exactly. Yes, Todd, that's basically it. Uh, you, you still go through the publication process and when you have to click on, you know, you have to select the hubs here, you just choose uh, the hub. But the, the publication the, the publication process is basically is basically the same. What differs uh, is the the content of the piece. One is a video about your research. The other one is a piece of content about meta science or decentralized science. Okay. Okay, Patrick. Uh, you want to add anything else? Yeah, I guess the only other thing that I have to say is if you have any questions about the competition or the conference in general, or would like to join the Research Hub community, just scroll down to the footer of Research Hub, and we have links to our uh, community Discord. This is also on the SciCon page itself. So yeah, if you have any questions or want to get to know anybody better, uh, just stop by our Discord, and we're always pretty active. So um, we'd love to say hi and hop on a call. Okay, so yeah, I don't see any any more questions here. So I think we uh, gave a pretty comprehensive overview. Again, as Patrick said, please set up a, send us a message, uh, either on Discord, through email, through the last chat button on Wix, uh, join one of our community calls any, in any possible way. Please uh, keep us busy getting back to you and answer all of your questions because everything we want to do is really having people on the website uh, engaging. We have already had a successful example of interaction on the website. We have done a collective review of a paper that was already published. So some members of our community uh, got together, decided to use the uh, notebook feature in the same way as I explained to you, basically by sharing emails of their uh, co-workers just for that, you know, for that topic. And they, they published a, a peer review together. And that was really appreciated by the, by the whole community. And I would say, yeah, we're all pretty friendly. What do you say, Patrick? So I think, you know, we should, you should really uh, join our community. And uh, I think it's a really awesome opportunity to do so, especially at SciCon, where we can actually, uh, you know, produce some content and put it out in the, in the community. Okay, so we just hit uh, the half an hour uh, mark. And so I think we, we could probably close it here. Again, if there's no, no more questions, I think it's, uh, yeah, we could probably close it here. Thanks, everybody. Good luck. Okay. Thank you, Thank you everyone. And yeah, I'll see you at Psycon. Bye.